syempre bumati muna sa ating, mga nakalay tayo ngayon no, sa ating social media account. And syempre bumati din sa ating mga vloggers. Hello guys, hello to everyone who's watching right now. Thank you for tuning in. I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Miguel. Siyempre, hihingi ang kami ng konting sample sa iyo. Pagkatas na kami introduce. Pwede ba, bigyan mo kami ng sample? Okay, okay. It's a song that's coming out in February 2020. It's called Shabby Cruz. Before you could just break down these walls And leave them falling down Like a moray down Pwede mo na. Ayan, siyempre, bigyan mo na kami ng Very light. Ayan, okay, next, ating artist, natawagin ko naman siyempre, singer, songwriter, musician, music producer, musical arranger, at siyempre, Lizzie's first single, Isla, recorded mga batang pose sa I Want Series OST. Ano nga ba tayo? At siyempre, siya din ay nag-release din po siya ng collab with Miss Universe, PH 2019, Gazzini Chan, Gazzini Ganado, sa Timeless, at siyempre, Lizzie's first single, Isla, His current single na Aho, no SP of Story of San Cipale sa Sunyang Sebe Sibin. Palakmakan po natin, Jamiko! Ako ang magandang hapon, gusto sa inyo lahat. And thank you po sa mga vloggers and sa lahat po ng nanonood ngayon sa live stream ng YouTube ko. At syempre, hindi ang hindi namin ang sample. Ito po yung aahon na lalabas po sa Story of Yancy para sa Sunang ABS-CBN. Tatahaki ng lahat para lamang sa'yo Mahal ko sa'yo aahon Thank you, Etch. Ito naman ating next artist, singer, musician, syempre dancer, host, at ito nga The Voice in Season 1 Grand Finalist as a performer, The Voice Online host, at syempre Hot Ambassador. Malakpang po natin ng mga kapamilya, Jeremy G. Hello po. Good afternoon everyone. Everyone watching. And sa mga vloggers natin ngayon, thank you guys so much for taking time on your day to come here. Thank you, Jeremy. At syempre, ngahingin ka rin namin ang sample. This is my first original single titled Sayo. Kahit tunay ang pag-ibig ko, hindi pa rin ang kin ang puso mo at tuluyan mang tagikuran mo ako masaktan mang muli muli ako'y sa'yo Thank you! Yes! Ayan, syempre sa ating last artist tawagin na natin performer, singer, songwriter, YouTube star at syempre nga tawag ng tanghal at season one grand finalist Concert performer, award-winning recording artist, Himiganda 2081, Music Philippines' favorite interpreter, song title, Wala Kang Alam. Mga kapamilya, palakpang ko natin, Sam Mangupa! Magandang magandang habon po sa inyo. We appreciate you coming out here po at para kilalaning pa kami at may-promote namin ang aming nalalapit na show sa 24. Thank you, Sam. Siyempre, sample ka naman. Ah... Ito po yung current single ko na nag-i-air ngayon. Uh, it's called Ikaw at Ikaw pa rin. Kung maibabalik ko lang Ang panahon na minsan Naglapit sa atin Nawit ng damdami Ikaw at Ikaw pa rin Yun. Thank you. Yeah, thank you sa amin. Siyempre, bigla kaya nga nagbigay na sila mga sapat na kilala natin mga artists. Pwede natin simula ng mga Our ating question, sino ba ang pwede natin magsimula sa ating magtanong? Pwede na magtanong. Ayan. Hello guys. Uh, can you share yung about the song to sponsor? Paano na po po? Sinong nag-decide? And ano yung aabangan namin sa inyong aral? Okay. So very thankful po kami kasi pili po kami as the performers for this concert kasi lahat po kami are from MMG and from Star Music so parang inintroduce din po kami for this for 2020 at the Pong Song Fuse concert so yun po tama po guys ano yung mga abangan sa inyo mga Uh, well, for me, um, ayun nga, kung tinignan niyo po, uh, sabi nila, it's unlikely na pinagsama-sama kami. Pero Star Music had this vision of um, having a concert na nandun po kaming apat para ipaglala nga kami for 2020. It's like a kickstart for us, uh, uh, Star Music artists. 
And uh, we're really happy na ginagawa po ng na- Star Music ito at pinagkatiwala kami ng Star Music na gawin ito. And uh, as for me, I'm releasing a single uh, this February. And uh, ayun po, yun ang aabangan sa akin. Hmm. First time nyo ba nagsama-sama to? In one yeah. concert? Uh, yeah. Yes, oh, yes. Yes. So, ano yung mga nalaman nyo sa isa't isa? Ano yung mga na-discover nyo in terms of uh, uh, personality and talent? Uh, actually, for me, um, I know this um, the first time we actually got together. But um, we jive, we drive, we jive right away. Uh, we clicked right away. Tas na pansin ko rin na everyone has their creative side, and uh, when we were working on songs specifically, our, our collaborations, we all put our input, and we were asking each other as well uh, if they had anything else to input. So, but um, we collaborated right away, and we worked well together. So that's what I. That's why I noticed about these guys the first time I worked with them. So. And everyone is ano, mabilis mag-pick up. Yeah, yeah. Especially, actually, yeah. We actually just got together like you know, a couple days ago. Yeah, days ago. The, minute, the minute we got together, it was like, it just, you know, it was it just really worked out really well. Can you share about the repertoire? Kahit hindi naman sobrang revealing, ano? Uh, sino yung mga namili ng song? Paano yung mga hatian? Wala bang, siyempre, common issues kapag ka maraming mga artists na sasalang sa isang concert, common issues dito lagi yung uh, sa pawan or mas angat si ganito. Kayo ba, papaano nyo na-assure na uh, yung mga hatian ng mga part ninyo, lahat magsashine? Um, well, na-receive lang po namin yung study ng song namin uh, last time. And uh, maganda po yung hatian ng songs, di ba? Yung, lalo especially dun sa uh, part na magpo-perform kami ng sabay-sabay. Kasi on the concert, uh, on the day itself, meron po kami sarili namin mga spots. So we get to, uh, you know, um, perform and then showcase namin yung individuality namin as artists. And Star Music is really good at na, you know, they helped us to choose the right songs na ipo-perform. And uh, yung theme kasi ng song feels is about love kasi it's uh, marapit na yung love month. And uh, iba't ibang klase ng love, there's heartbreak, there's uh, Falling in love, there's moving on, yung mga typical na ngayon daan na sa taong na in love at in love. So, yun yung i-expect ng mga manonood sa Alright, thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Okay, ako na lang. <laughs> okay, doon sa mga songwriters, uh, saan kayo humuhugot ng mga, yung mga compose niya? Ano yung mga may mas prepared yung genre? So what, what, oh, what, what inspired? Oh, yes. Uh, for me, for me, I mean, I don't know if you read this way, Jamie For me, it seems hard. It's hard. Okay. 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 I've never been cheated on, but I know what it feels like to be jealous, to be betrayed. And so I take those emotions and I put it into a song about cheating, even though I've never experienced cheating before. Um, sa akin naman po, medyo nahihirapan ako, especially with the song Timeless, kasi it's about um, the elderly. So hindi ko po siya advocacy kasi it's gazini sa advocacy. So, ko, like what Miguel said, ginamit ko rin yung personal experience ko. Um, kung ano yung gusto kong sabihin sa grandparents ko, anong gusto kong ipa-feel nila. So, yun din, parang important din, it's, it's coming from your heart. So, yun yung hugot ko rin. Ah, yeah. Um, ako kasi iba-iba eh. Meron ako minsan nanonood ako ng movie, tapos very inspired ako dun sa, you know, storyline. I can write about that. I, I can I use that sometimes. Or, if, if, if a friend talks to me and uh, sinishare nila yung experience nila regarding love, may mga songs ako na sinulat dahil sa experience nila na you know it's a empathizing thing for me and uh, yeah yeah experience din meron din pero kasi normally I I want I like writing inspirational songs more than love songs talaga uh, so yung genre mo talaga yung inspirational inspirational ano, ay mga mga ganung sulat although ang mas nare-release ko lately is mga love songs <laughs> So makikita namin sa concert yung iba-ibang genre lang kanta yes mm-hmm. genre 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 nyo lang Ah, uh, meron kasi meron kami collaboration so medyo nagmi-mix yung mga genres namin and um yung arranger namin kasi magaling din eh from uh, si Kuya Rain, Rain. Rain from Six Part Invention so um, uh, very exciting po for us kasi we get to touch din yung mga genre na meron kami pareho-pareho. Yung Rain yung David, yung Rain yung David, naging ba yung genre na nahirapan din kayo? 
Ako, personally, yes, yes. I tried. Nandun yeah. yun. Yeah, kasi bago yes. itong magra-rap na hindi niyo usually makita. Oh. So, ano yung 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 Right now, I'm trying to write my own songs as well, and I've been trying to ask different songwriters kung saan galing talaga yung hugo, yung, uh, same as your question. So, and what I've what I've been receiving some answers, and even just talking to these these guys as well sa mga rehearsals natin, I can tell na songwriting has to come from the heart. Because if it doesn't come from the heart, what can it song right? Why are you writing songs? So, you should be inspired to write a song, and you should have experience as well. But most importantly, it should be from the heart. So. That's not a Miguel. What's behind the haircut? I'm not going to go to the Philippines this uh, December and I was like, I cannot do that road trip now. I'm going to go Kasi ang dami nang tanong sa social media na parang sayang. Sayang? Oh, daw. It's just hair. It grows back. <laughs> so, <laughs> yung papahal ka na siya. Ah, probably not. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you. From ano naman, from showbiz at ganap. So guys, uh, sa inyong apat, I have a question. So siyempre bilang singers, may mga peg kayo or inspiration na singers na madalas yun yung mga awit na kinakanta nyo. So for the four of you, mag-ibigay nyo kung sino yung singer na peg ninyo at kung sino nag-inspire, kung bakit kano ng estilo ng pagkakakanta ninyo. Well, ako, um, ever since ang um, inspiration ko lagi is a mix of everything. Pero lately kasi, yung itong nagmamature ako bilang artist, ang talagang nasa puso ko talaga is alternative uh, music. Pero lately, in, in, in terms of performance, ang lagi kong parang china-channel is si Harry Styles kasi gusto gusto siya nagpo-perform. So, yun. <laughs> okay. Um, for me naman, um, that's a really hard question for me to answer kasi I, uh, even, even on, on Idol, I always said na parang I'm a songwriter first, so I never I never thought of myself as as ever being like this performer or whatever. So like my my main influences are songwriters themselves. So, parang whatever my voice is is just a product of what whatever I listen to. Uh, the songwriters that I listen to. So I can't really pinpoint. Okay, this is a singer that that I'm copying, or this is a singer that I put there. I think for me, para sa concert na to, I, I think I pulled different aspects of different artists. So I got uh, one of one of my inspirations uh, growing up was was Bruno Mars and how he's a full performer. So I got an aspect of that. And then there's some parts of Kai Gary Valenciano, the 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 way he sings from the heart. Uh, and then Brian McKnight as well is my inspiration. And I kind of wanted to get different aspects from different artists to put into concert, try to showcase what I can do as an artist, uh, like uh, total package or something. Ako naman po, I'm heavily inspired by acapella. So yung pentatonics po. So ma- sobrang nangilig po ako mag-arrange ng vocals. And so for this concert, uh, abangan niyo po, may isa po akong performance dyan na first time ko siyang gagawin live. Um, and dati ko pa po siya gustong gawin. And uh, thankful also Star Music na binigyan po akong gantong um, yun, stage to do this. And, Siguro po in terms of producing naman po may own music, uh, Charlie Booth, um, and it's, it's, actually Charlie Booth. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. Alright, I have a follow-up question. So since na nanggaling kayo sa mga musical competitions or talent shows ng ABS sa tatlo sa inyo, so si Jamie Condi, so hindi ka nag-compete, uh, unlike them? Um, other network po. Um, okay, so if there's something na you can teach sa mga hindi nanalo sa singing competition, and ano mga message na to inspire and kung papipiliin kayo ng isang talent search na gusto nyong salihan aside sa sinalihan nyo, ano yun at bakit? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Ako po sa totoo lang, hindi ko talaga ako pantesero um, Lagi ko pong sinasabi pag tinatanong ako kung ano yung naging feeling ko ang sinasabi ko lagi is all throughout the competition ng tawag na tangalan ang naaalala ko lagi yung pinakamalakas na feeling ko is lagi akong kabado and uh, I think uh, work well lang talaga yung lahat ng ginawa ko and uh, I had a really a strong support group nung time na nagkakampita ko pero kung sasali po ulit ako, ayoko na po talagang samari, ikaw po yung pressure, hindi ko po kaya talaga. Yun ako. Actually, 
for me, like everything that everything that Sam said is, is true for me as well. It, it, it was a really weird experience. It was a bless uh, it was a huge blessing, but it was a weird experience for me to, to go through that and be surrounded by so many talented singers. Mm -hmm. They've been singing their whole lives and I'm just like, What what am I what am I doing here? But um this, the show got me as far as it did and it's a huge blessing. And for me naman po, uh, I I again uh I, I'm not really a person that joined contests or singing contests, so the voice teens uh, was actually uh, the first contest I joined. But um, having gone through that um, and having hosted the voice the the voice kids uh, season four season four, I've noticed that uh, there's there's people that that are scared to join contests just because of failure. But the th the thing is that we all have to learn. If you join a contest and you don't get to the point that you want to go, you have to understand that. It's only part of the journey. If you guys, if you lose in the competition, it doesn't mean the end of your career. It doesn't mean the end of the journey. It's only the start. And that's that's how it that's how it started for me. Even though I didn't win, so it was only the start. It was only the. It, I was. I'm thankful for the voice team for having me because it was the platform that that helped me to get to the place where I am today. So. I'm yeah. grateful for the pressure that I've been competitions because. Uh, kung comfortable ka sa state mo ngayon, hindi ka mapupush eh. So, with the contests, and ako rin po kasi, for them, uh, mga solo contests, sa akin po kasi boy band competition po yung sa akin. So, medyo nasanay po ako sa um, being in a group. Tapos, pero ngayon po, um, sinasanay ko rin na maging solo. So, um, uh, through those con uh, contests po, talagang napush yung confidence and yung skills na talagang ganyan. Kasi alam mo may, may kakalaban ka, kaya gaganyan mo sa sarili mo. Alright, thank you. So